Hello, welcome back. This is part seven of the Metal Gear Solid playthrough. Um, we're going down a little elevator. We're waiting outside the bit for uh, Vulcan Raven, and we're going to read the mission log. So, to stop the launch of a new type of nuclear weapon, Snake must use the detonation code emergency override key at the underground maintenance base. God damn it. Uh, up north. Or destroy Metal Gear itself. The snake has down a cargo lift where all the uh, birds were, and I punched one of those bitches. But I'm dead. Exactly. Uh, we've gone beyond the snowfield after defeating Sniper Wolf again. Blah blah. Ah, but this time you defeated her forever. Oh, wait, she's not going to get up. So, Snake here, Sir Master Miller, Naomi could be a spy. Snake can't believe it, but all I can do now is head for the underground maintenance space. Exit. And we go into blackness. I'm waiting for uh, 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 this PlayStation chugs into life. There we go. So while we're here, right, I'm going to go down. And... I'm going to catch Campbell. Catch a can of Campbell's. Oh. Stop wasting time! Stop wasting time. Metal Gear's base is up ahead. Snake, it's over 30 below outside. What's wrong? I get it. Thanks. Nothing. Snake. We're getting harsh. I'm lollygagging around at that Metal Gear's base. There's no time. So the way we're about to start, no, just change up the words stuff. Right, anyway, so we're heading off. Let's go around and let's check for treasury. Nikita's C4s. Kakar Mitsa birds. Rations. rations. More Nikita's. More Nikita's, right? So, how many rations? We've got three or five, that should be fine. Blah 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 blah. 60, 60. Let us go in. Ta da! Should be on a bit more. It is. Now cacao. Birds. Oh, birds. I've been waiting for you. Welcome, Cassack. Right, my friends. Listen, they agree. That's what they say. Cacao, cacao, cacao. I only punched one of them. Simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank. You must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing the sea. This shall be our final battle. <laughs> You're damn right. Am I hallucinating? Kakar? I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows. Oh, I'm rumbling. I'm rumbling. Uh, your ancestors too were raised on the barren. Oh, we got breakfast too. Yeah. You were in Japanese. Yeah, but early morning in it. So, uh. Somebody's got his breakfast on and he's eating away. It's almost every time that we actually start one of these things up that I'm eating. Yeah, I know. I'm trying not to print all the shit out of this bag of crisps. That's too many. It is. Goodbye, it's Rima. You have been a worthy adversary. <laughs> <laughs> it is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as. I've lost it for why. You want to pull each other's ears? What do you reckon to pull it? Yes, do you reckon to just like tweak initially? No, I think it's just younger as far as I can. Pull a move. Like a trophy. Mm. It's glorious. It's just plain killing. 
violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see. We will see. My giant chain gun will be completely ineffective. I don't know. I'm just trying to work out kind of... What you do, right, is you use all those claymores that you've got. Oh, yeah. Just drop them around in places and see if he blows his dumb ass up. I mean, you'll be able to see them. That's a very good point. Let's get around here. Here he comes. Wreck your bottle. I don't see. See if it actually works. Eep! No, apparently it didn't. Apparently it did. Well, there's not much I can do there. Now, I don't know if they'll actually hurt you or not. Oh, yeah. Because I'm mines. Now you just gotta remember. Now the ish being. Choo! They're bursting the ship. Oh, I know. Oh. He's coming towards you? Yes. I'm gonna have to get the hell out. Or at least you kind of know where he is. Oh, he, he hit one of the mines. That he did, that he did. Now I'm going to sneak around behind him. Lol. turns to the left here. Yeah. From the left to the left? I don't know. Whee! So you shoot your bug face. Did another time. Did another time. I don't know. I'm sure I'll put a mine here. I've got to get my mine detector out. Oh! I, I walked over. Hmm. Hmm. Broke that bit. The mighty bomb. Oh, you said it's down the bottom there. It's it's finding them because of the way that this goes. Let's play a game. It's called I'm sneaking. Oh, that balls. The box. The box. Pardon me. The box. I wonder if there's someone else that can use. Dunk some C4 down. Yeah, but I need to kind of work out whereabouts he's going to be. Well, he's just stepped on another mine. Not another one. I don't know. It's a very kind of strange battle, this one. Can't mount. True, but now he's got to come around this way. He's starting to run now. He is. As he jogs down. Here he comes. Lol. You can kick your ass. Of course it's not man. Eek! But there was a mine up there. No, there was a mine up top. Mine ahead! We actually just laced the entire place with the things. Well, I just walked through that one. Sure we did. Speak. You are an asshole. Hmm. Pop out there. Hey! You are a true warrior. Go away. Eek! See, it's not like he actually does a lot more, that's the thing. He just kind of saunters. You're gonna stick it. I am, but he's going up instead. 
Who wants the world to know? I'm actually quite surprised that you haven't taken any damage so far. Oh, here he comes. I know, I can't remember where I put the uh, mine. Boom, boom, boom! It's around that corner. Boom! Boom! Can I shoot him with a stinger, do you reckon? Uh... Oh, I can! That's going to be a lot easier. Let me get a lock on him. You might still be able to shoot them. Ah, oh, breakfast. He's a coming. <laughs> well, at least this time you can, at least see I can where... actually lock on him, which makes this so much. And he's got very little life left already. You can just keep walking into your mind. It's quite nice, isn't it? What is? It's not really much of a fight, is it? Catch! Oh, shit. Du -du 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 -du. Ah, wrong one. So in the end, really... It doesn't even matter. It doesn't. Just trying to work out which way to go. I mean, I could always pitch grenades at him, like this. It's for you! Oh shit! You completely missed him. I can't okay. go down the other thing with the claymore because the thing's dropping on top of it. You gotta time it though. Like that. Uh oh. Kaboom. Did I hit him there? No, because the grenade went too far. Well, that kind of sucks. Let's go C4 then. Oh, that's a bit shit. Well, you're going to have to use some... Ragione Yeah, yeah true. Frozen. Oh, they're frozen. i to melt it before I eat it. What the fucking hell am I supposed to melt it? By being in a hot area? That is generally a very good point. Well, yes. Boom. Let's try and get the fuck out of here. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah. See if I can get by. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I know. They un uh, <laughs> unfroze when he shot unfroze you. Unfroze just at the right time. Hey, you just had an ice cream bar instead. I think I'll be better. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Let's put that in the corner. It's not like the guy going like go. one or two hits left on him. I think it's the one. I just gotta wait. Here he comes. I bet he turns up here. I knew it! I knew it! In your law. Well, he's screwed now because he's got to come down this way. Dun, 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 dun. Say good night, asshole. <laughs> I don't know how that was a the Ravens. A disappointingly cack boss fight there. It always reminds us of Resident Evil. Anytime I see crows, ever. Resident Evil. You start pecking your face. <coughs> Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? Understand. But how's one now? Snake. It's time to split. Take my security card. Open that door. Do you know what this part is? That now opens the level 7 door from behind. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. Do battle. Watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. 
It was not him. Oh, fresh. That final grumble there just wasn't nice. Sweet ass pants, though. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. You killed him! So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the angel of death. No. The chief. You can get the code? <laughs> that is the end you, know, of it. you must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. I'll use a walkthrough on Tinto Web. True. The crows! The crows! No such thing as the car! <laughs> that one's right in his face. You are different. What are you trying to say? I start a conversation with him while he's getting munched. Maybe it does all these film kind of bits as well. No peas. No See, this was my main complaint with Metal Gear Solid 5, right? Oh, fuck it, those birds are quick. Fat ass birds. They everything? Ring 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 ring. Snap. Nine four. It's me. Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel. Shit. Is Naomi Too late. There? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay. Maybe we better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. Plot twist. I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy. It's her FB's thing, that's what it is. There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared well, she was in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification paper. Did all our minds is off? <gasps> yes, Ventura. Not detective. Yeah. Finko. He is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finko. Einhorn is a man. But she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group. A group? Couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who sees her. She's one of their spies, and we're in big trouble. F two hunter. Uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the Arms Tech president? I, I have no idea. Anyway. We cannot allow her to participate in any further. Lies! Wait, wait. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. There's a lot of Kodak in this area. Give me some time. I don't have any time. Because, of course, you have to go back and forward to, like, the hot bit and the cold bit and that. Yeah. Which is a pain in the bootock. So let's go and let's grab the rest of the crap. There's gonna be none of it kicking around, is it? Probably not. So if the rations froze in here, why didn't they cook? Any other one? Ew. 
There's nothing worse than a warm drink. Speaking of which, pour me a drink, brethren. A fresh dribbled drink. Damn straight. <coughs> See, I believe we are closing towards the end here. A fresh, fresh drink with some hairs in it. Oh, lovely. There you go, twice the yeah. Well, I think it's nice that you're like leaving the hairs in there for us. Well, I'm not going to put my fingers in, especially after I've licked them. Fair enough, I'll let you off. And I'm sure in this place there's a hole in the floor. There See, are many I holes knew it. in the floor. No, it's wrong. Arcus. The goons? Goons? You have to check them out. Holy cack. Wow, that is a lot of fucking... Well, there's, there's like stuff. That is a lot of cameras. Hold still, they can only detect movement. That's what I'm thinking. Otherwise it would have already ruined your butthole. Whoop, I want that one. So we're full of the stingers. <laughs> a bit concerned at the fact that like, literally, I'm having that. Um, swish? Swish? Fucking hell. <laughs> a bit overkill? There's no such thing as overkill. Only the crushed remains of your enemies. <laughs> <clears throat> they just want you to dance? Dance? Jesus, you want me to dance? Did, 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 the biggest trap room ever. Fucking end of platoon. <sighs> Hey, look. There it is. In the Rex. Change the camera. I'll try and get all the hairs out and drink. Oh, tasty. It might only be one. Oh, was, we was are, that it? Because we are long, long, flowing locks. Now, if I remember rightly. Let's get back on the windy side. You can go into the water here. You can. Now, I know the water is unpleasant. However, let's put on the Thermy G's, the ration, because it's the waste um, water. Poo water. And I'm wondering if I've got to go this way. But I do know that there is something in here, something nice. My boss is because there's a camera. Ah, oh, tits. Climb out here for the minute. I was wondering why that chap grenade was taking a while. First, well, there's balls all in there. Alright, you gotta get. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right. Well, I'm gonna use a ration. Turn off my Thermy G's. Chug another chaff. Get this oh. ration. So if I remember rightly, it's more story based this area. So I spent God knows how long trying to find my way, like, not to zap people. Yeah. Turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off, turn it off. And we're heading. Oh, because this is where it tells where the. Oh, God's sake, man. It's me, it's me, it's the OTAC. Oh. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? No guards. Nobody here. No guards. Nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Oh, oh. three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. You see, I see. To me. Clever this. But we've got to do this bit before we can thing out. Baker's private files. Baker's files. Don't you need a password? Of course. But there are ways. There are ways. Yep. That describes me pretty well. 
Nice, well. Oh, but he's like, who says that? It does describe it to me. Circle, go up. There's nobody here. I'm sure there's people here now. Fact, because of the whole jamming thing, I'm pretty paused. I'm gonna tell you, I think they're on the upper walkways. Too. I don't understand why it's jammed. Because you're in close proximity to a giant walking nuclear reactor. Oh, how boss does this look though? Do you know what this always reminds us of? Snatcher. And you. For God's sake, man. Um, yeah, we'll play Snatcher. He didn't. Snatcher is a call again. We'll probably do a uh, talk to you on that, but it's not really kind of one of those games that you can do videos on stream really well. Yeah. Because it's a lot of text. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you get like a screenshot, but this it's interactive novel. Yeah, but it's a good interactive novel. There's very few of them around. I find that interactive novels are a really weird kind of no, setup when you start getting the cards. That yeah, I think it is. Here. So I'm gonna go pick up everything and then I'm gonna do no. It's one of those interactive novel setups where it's hard to kind of, I wouldn't say hard to explain, but it's it's hard to make videos of because there's not a huge amount going on in the actual game. <sighs> I mean, there's bidding, I knew I should have turned this down. My bad. It's not now. Climb over the top. And up and all of that. And there we go. Past the fourth level. I did Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential metal gear file. Bingus. That's the power override system that Baker talked about. I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to Don't mind your fucking calling! I found something else. You know people do that. I'm calling like I heard someone say it. Just as I thought, I can't remember. The nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but... Uh, Pretty uh, sneaky, huh? Yeah. Even the scariest thing about the weapon. I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to do that? stealth missile. Because, because of rocket fuel? Propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh, yeah. Sorry, with a railgun setups work as well. Where it came the magnets and then yours. Bang! And fires up. Oh, an acceleration of yeah. magnetic implants. Seriously, like a bullet train, really. Impossible to yep. Intercept. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. This could mean the end of the world. The end of the world. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? Sad face. I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the Star 3 treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the... I'll say the Colonel's a bit of a bitch like any. He is a, Did you a douchebag. I, I'm not keen on him. Sorry. See? You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. He used to be my pal. Listen to me. This new nuclear weapon. It's, it's never, never actually been tested. tested. Only simulated. But this was ran through a simulation. Hungry for apples? <laughs> it looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. Meryl Meryl's gone. I still have it. No, Ocelot took it from me. 
terrorists the dummy warhead with a real war. Oh, God damn, man. Sean kind of like. He's remember my beef stitch when we're doing Space Cruiser. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Ugh. I don't know if it's got something to do with the way I'm sitting because I've got a cushion in my back. Must be in a separate file. Baker's personal files. Weird Look at this porn collection. Here's a kinky old man. It's my porn. You should know that by now. It's prawn. Prawn. Yeah, I already know the file. It's prawn. Prawn. Prawn cocktail. Well, that'll be the problem, right? Because I'm a chef. Um. I would be putting down things like prawn and shit like that. And people would go in looking for prawns. Where the fuck am I going? Hey, there's a guy there! No, don't chaff him. And Use I'll... your PSG. Oh, it's... and just destroy him. Yep. Yeah. I heard it. I heard him go. So, uh... There he is, he's dead. Dead Jim. Uh, Dead. Pardon me. So, fuck this guy. Yes, you cut yourself. I know. <laughs> there you go, some silicone bullets. Banana thorn? Nagging. Nagging. I found it! Nagging. I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found You have no Terrier Mortar? I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was, that was a SDI army. Of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. I don't know. It looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. There's a lot of um Yeah. And Baker was initialization, isn't there? Deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Just give me a little longer. I can't tell you all of this in one long sentence because that would just be stupid. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking. Okay, cutscene. Can't be able to change the scene at the minute. Nice dissolve. <gasps> Even though there's a security camera, we see anything. I vented the PAL codes and disengaged the safety lines. You can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show. How oh, his voice is so good. Should I set it for Chernatin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. I think we've got Golukovich in here as well, where they're mentioning him. Because Olga's in the second one. If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be. Logan Raven called Gulukovich. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried no. about the retaliatory strike. I don't think he was. That'll probably move. I can't remember. Talks between both countries. So who is who's Gulukovich? Is a general that's funding the the programmers. Oh, that's it. Sorry. A, a quick scratch of the schneck. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or oh, the president's? And with the CTBT, that means the Chinese... That's right, with CTBT. I see. <laughs> with the LGBT. The countries hear about this new weapon. With uh, the BLTs. And the LEDs. And the OLEDs. We start selling their own system to the highest bidder. What's the difference between an OLED and an LED? One doesn't have an LED. What? What? If there's no LED, doesn't have any LED? No, and oh, LED, you dick, no, no. <laughs> it takes a while, it's doing what you want to talk about. I hear your bad jokes at times. Quality stairs? You're an idiot. She always took. She was always smacked off her tits. Or maybe it's just because this fox died. We're still experimenting. They haven't worked out all the bugs yet. 
In any case, greatest boss ever, man. Greatest boss ever. At the Spetsnaz. Hey, he's the Colonel. He still has doubts. Colonel Galukovich. So long as a crispy fried bear. You are! For unicycle with every bucket. You <laughs> bear! Delicious bear! Chris? Fight it with all potatoes. <laughs> if Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to. Oh, look at that, man. Just metal gear. Oh, it's so good! I love the boss on this. Got a frowny face. ...to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons. It's in shambles. He's a politician. He gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldiers' brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What do you say? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. Still escaping. We have to make powerful weapons. 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 Powerful once we get the DNA and the money, the world will Here we get the, get the DNA, get the money, then you get the cojones, and get some bitches. But boss, you're not worried about the power being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you don't know? you know? Don't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Give her out. I like her. Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive. Meryl. Ree. Big white screen. As an espionage agent, right? It's really, really shit at keeping an eye out for cameras. Yeah, yes. Finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. They finished inputting the PAL codes. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see. If you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. Only you once. Get ah, oh. mm. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already that's have the all trick. three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. It's a pain in the fucking ass, it that's is. what it is. It is because you could have run through everything and shoot people in the face and throw chaff grenades on them. So this key oh. is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency oh. input. There should be a symbol oh. on the screen. Symbol on the screen? Corresponds to a different key. So while we're here, we'll put in the normal. Yellow, blue, red. Ah. Oh. I'll go get the red one first. You can't. You've got to do it in order. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert. All the you card. do is insert the key. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing: you can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used it's only once. Only meant to be used once. 
Ah, the elbow. Oh, yeah, it's this that goes into the little rivery bit. Shooting left handed. Oh shit, the guy there? <laughs> Is there? I appreciate you explaining that to us. Captain Obvious strikes again! Sure, there's a guy around here. No, but there's one. Where come from? Fine. Do you have your rationales equipped? That is a very good point. I better put these on. In fact, I'm going to put the body armor on, and I'm just going to rush it. I know you get so far down and then it's kind of, ah! It stops again. Oh, bugger! He's behind us! He's behind us! You can't get me! I'm silent, Snake. There we go, and we're evading. Down the other hand. I know, but... Now he climbs over the top. Quite a lot of them. He can't. He's jamming. Ba -da -ba. Holy shit, boss! We lost him. What did he do? He climbed over the wrecks. You mean under the other gantry, where there's other people? No. Yes. I mean. Maybe. Fuck. <laughs> Anything about that, boss? Couldn't we just thing. walk around the front? How do you get to that room? If you don't go over X? Well, eventually they just piss off. After you've So this the is maybe in Sly now, the Thermy G's. I think it's underneath that one. With the, the camera on? Yeah. Of course it's going to be underneath the one with a camera. Play splash. Right, more bullets. taking a bath. Bum, 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 bum. Cause... You're also starting to like, poison. But yeah, you get poisoned. With the scum water. Well, I was getting poisoned by the scum water last time. Let's take less uh, hits. Not oh. working. I know, it's the Thermic G's I need to have on. And then it's the Chaff. chaff. Wait, right. Where does he keep this shit? Stobar plants? Does he have his own version of Stobar plants? Oh. Not nice. Now I've got to pitch this motherfucker. I'm turning on you. Turn me G's. Goggles again. Why wasn't the bomb in there last time? It, well, I don't know. Okay. Is there a reason I didn't pick it up? Did it land, like, on the platform? No, it's in the water somewhere. Oh, this sucks. There we go. It doesn't suck as much. This is where you turn off the, the thermal goggle thing, you can see it spinning. <laughs> the probably. Oh. So, gone, up we go, normal temperature. See, this is the only part of the game that I find is a bit kind of annoying. Because this part of the game is backtracking. And it's quite a lot of it. If I remember rightly, that's a bit when you plug in the keys, all three keys go in and the door shut. Time up, man. And it's like, hold still, I guess you. Right, 
Down we go. Although it isn't that bad actually climb up and down it. I think that dude's here again. Maybe not. How about we're gonna have a look around here? See the doors open again? Yeah. Oh, well, that didn't sound good. Go on. Ah, oh, for huh? fuck's sake, man. This? Yep. Aye! <coughs> a horrible feeling this is going to take us a while. Maybe it's not. They've already moved out. <laughs> they go and live elsewhere. There's shit tons of cameras everywhere though. Well that's why you chaff it. Like that? Suddenly, chat grade. But surely you would, like, put on the power key? I can't remember where the power key is. There it is. Maybe because everything is chaffed? Yeah. And you know, because. Power key identified! Wah! <laughs> Awaiting pal code two. Okay. That takes care of pal code number one. Now pal number two. Freeze the key. Freeze the key. Which should be not difficult because all I'm going to do is stand in the Welcome, right in the area. Yeah. You see this thing? Um, I mean, I know this part. It's not so bad here, right? But you bought both the elevators. It's, yeah, it's the elevator bit on the next you bit. You didn't die there, you died on the other fucking door. No, I died, yeah. Okay, car, it just takes a little while. Right, he said, take my key card, right? It will open the door behind me. I'm gonna just lie on the floor. Let me check the power key, I'm Right, so the power key's changed now. On the way back. Because you see, it doesn't change the little symbol of yeah. the power key. You just I'm just going to run this and see if I can get away with it. How come none of those opened up when you ran past it beforehand? One hit. One hit wonder. wonder when people like first played this, right? When they got through the hot metal area? They were wondering, this is a bit random. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck does a like a new plant need a, a smelt now? A giant furnace. Unless that's how they got rid of the nuclear material by just incident. Oiling it. Can we bras? It's probably not worth the chaff. I'm gonna chuck it anyway. No, that went far. You were incapable of throwing the chaff through. It's not really like it's necessary or anything. You know go. Yeah, it worked too. I do. Beep. So I suppose it's not taking as long as I was kind of thinking, but... Yeah, but now you've got to run all the way back through. Yeah. Awaiting code three. Oh fuck, seriously. He's just sitting there shooting at me, he's just walking down the corridor. I was like, well, I guess there's bees in here or something. <laughs> just a pain in the ass. This is, oh god, I've been shot by bees. You see, this is where it gets kind of different because you've got the story part here with the whole Naomi shit. Ring, ring, ring. Banana phone, yeah. 
I think it'll be the, the next style. I think it's the next it's one, yeah. Remember these guns? Yeah, I've got it. Oh, no, here it is. Snake, what did you do? It's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to <coughs> He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry. How does he turn that off? Maybe he's just got a switch. Channel one, channel two. But it's embedded in the bones in his ears. Maybe he just thinks about it. Science? The DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. This fucking cushion. Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox Die. Liquid in the. It makes everybody orange? Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know. What was a white end to it? Yeah. What are you trying to say? It's your carrier. What is the cause of death? Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die? He means decoy octopus. Like a heart attack. Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? Nano machines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. To wipe out all you two spies, of course. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel. Colonel. With the Naomi situation, I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest. She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. There was some harsh. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Never clamps. I'd like to know <laughs> the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out. Used it all on the chips. So it's true, isn't it? <laughs> Truth <laughs> salt. Truth <laughs> chips. <laughs> So you're walking around and constantly over here, so idiot. Chris. <laughs> Ready salted flavor. Ready to tell the truth, salted flavor. <laughs> so I do this bit and then it tastes like truth. Right. Oh, fuck it's true. Now you're in the uh, heat of the moment. I think. I'm gonna get this card changed. Well, shit's getting real, apparently. Well, if I remember rightly. I have to be right next to this. Supposedly, it doesn't take as long for this one to heat up. Yeah, gotta be careful that it doesn't cool down too quick either. I'm just gonna stand here. Uh, and probably for the burst, because then you're not gonna get like randomly shot by douchebags. I don't know if it's there, I've gotta be standing. Uh, maybe. I'm close enough though. Ah, oh, there we go, it's changed. We're good. So we're heading back now. I got a jog. Like a bitch. Press the button. Go on down. And to keep it warm, he inserts it in his deep, hard slot. deep in his uh, anus. What about that little sticky out bits for? Stand it on. I mean, surely you could just stand on, on the edge. I don't know how the actual case stays that shape. All the way through here. He's got cigarettes? Why didn't he just use his lighter? He doesn't have a lighter? He's just got cigarettes? That oh, fuck's he smoking them? Just chews them. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. It's those candy cigarettes. That's why. Yeah. There we go. Can you hear me? It's Naomi. Busy right now. I'm on a different codec. With the same frequencies. Is what the colonel says true? 
Yes. Yes. But not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I just I don't my identification. No. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. Dirty little orphan. So she's a Rhodesian? A dirty little orphan. What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965 and there were lots of Indian laborers around. She's not That's Indian at all. where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even she sure. She's not Indian at all. Naomi. You're too worried about the past. She sounds very, very Isn't British. Understand who you are now? Well, because it was run by British people. I am now. Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long until I met my big brother. Him. To him. Your big brother. Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. Oh no! Picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. me. Yes, Frank Yeager, the man, the man who, who you destroyed. destroyed. See plot twists, but Frank Yeager's not dead. Gray Fox. Because Gray Fox is in the robot. Together, Frank and I. He protected me. It's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. So she's been sending the messages to Frankie. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. This America. America. Then he and my I wonder if um, Metal Gear Solid 7, which they're bound to do, is going to base around that time. I wonder if it would be like the fight between Snake and, and Grey Fox. Well, I think they're just going to circle it round. I knew it was my which I think is a good idea. For the day that I would. So I could kill you in the face. Answered. Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Two years isn't very long when you think about it. Though. Two years. I mean, Kazuma Kiryu was in... Uh, Prison for ten. And another three in Yakuza six. Mm. And he was forty fifty eight or something? What about liquid? No, forty eight or something like that uh, around that time, so really you only had thirty five years of normal life. Doctor too, did you? The one that used Grey Fox for his genome experiments? Doctor Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him helped hide, him hide out. out. So that ninja, I mean, great Fox, he's come here to kill me. I don't think so. I think he's came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. The final battle with you is what you live for. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi. Tell me something. Tell me something. About Fox Dye. Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus mm. that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox Dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? And then picks people off. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is savage like attached to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then the death dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Mebbies. Mebbies. Naomi. I don't blame you. 
blame on you for what I'm dead. I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Tie. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Tie as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. It was the first day. That's not the whole truth. Uh -huh. The real thing I wanted to tell you was. The kids, get her! Hey. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Eek! <laughs> Eek! Hey. Ooh, snake! What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel. As if that doesn't make it completely obvious that it's him who, uh, thingy that. There's no time for that. Now your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Not really, but... Come. And look! The card's still red. It is. Do you reckon I can rush it and get all the way through? You might be able to. So, here we go, we're back here. I don't think these cameras actually see you properly. Well, let's get this battle key on. There we go. Turn around. Every now Got to turn around now. Beep. That's the third one in. Nuke D. Nuke activated. Shut down. Initiated. No. Why? Why? I deactivated it. You didn't deactivate it. Thank you, Snake. <laughs> the detonation code is complete. So good, this bit. The, the ultimate double cross. Master, what's going on? You found the key. And you even activated the warhead for us, too. too. I really must express my gratitude. You Sorry to have involved you in that silly shit <laughs> alloy business. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You were able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot. So in reality, right? What this whole game has been. If Snake was never sent there in the first place, he wouldn't have succeeded. Yeah. the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove Snake. What? It's a useful snake. I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter. Thanks to Thanks Fox, Fox Guy. Guy. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? Of course. <laughs> did you did this part by yourself? yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but no to choice but to surrender the Fox Dime vaccine. vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless. Their ace hole is useless. <laughs> no, they can't. Poof. The plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, poor fool. Who are you? Fool. Anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very. I'm right in front of you, of course. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Can no you? shit. Too, too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the house. Come on, from inside the house. Snake, you've, you've been, been talking, talking to me, me, dear brother. 
And off go the glasses with the ultimate of disguises. See, it works for Superman. It does. You're crunchy, right? I'm not crunchy. <laughs> Gas mask? True. So we get, where is it? Gas mask. Anyway, it's kind of, I don't know what to do kind of thing. And then out the corner. And then you do this, you know, like, the door's locked! What do I do? What do I do? Well, at first I use some rations. You eat it through the gas mask so you don't mince it through the, the ventilator. Ah, oh, you crush yeah. it through. Reminds us of, um... How to come? Open this shit. Oh, dark helmet. He drinks a coffee through the helmet. Yeah. Just hold for a minute. For a whole minute. Well, it doesn't really have much time, does he? And I don't even know, you see, I don't even know if you kind of save it where it actually thingies. Is everything alright, Snake? No. Save. I'm going to save anyway. So we'll save this bit. And then we'll get out first. Come on, Snake, you, can you can do it! I reckon it should have like his gas mask on in the pictures when you're wearing it. Does like that? that? Yeah. Spider-Man. I unlocked the door for you! I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Ta-da! What would be better is if you shut off the gas. <laughs> it would be. So I'm going to let the evasion go. Well, so it's heading off that way. There it is. Ping. No jam. No jam at all. And what I'm going to do... Mei Ling. I am going to call Mei Ling and I'm going to save it here. I need to piss. I'm pooped so bad. Because... I said, oh, I know. So we've got the command room. We're overwriting. And next time... I believe... I believe the next time it's the... um. We have the Rex fight. Don't die, Snake! It's actually the, what do you call it? Yep. The Rex fight and the end of the game? Yep. Which is the best part of the game. Our best last bosses, best everything. Liquid Snake is the greatest villain ever. And it's quality. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching again. And we'll catch you soon. Bye! Toodles! Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to throw us a like, subscribe, or maybe follow us on one of our social setups. Maybe even take a look at our Patreon or one of our many other videos. But for now, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll all see you very soon. Toodles!